They say you can't run from fate. No matter how hard you try, life has its own plans. Do you believe in fate? In the fact that if it is destined, then so be it? A resident of Sulakan, perhaps, did not think about it, until one day something came down to her directly from heaven. It must be great to be a pioneer of something. Columbus discovered America, Popov invented the radio, Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon, and Anne Hodges was hit by a meteorite. If you think that this episode was less bright than all the previous ones, you are greatly mistaken. November 30, 1954, Anne, 34, sleeps comfortably on a sofa in the living room of her home in Salakoga, Talladega County, Alabama, USA. She wakes up in the hospital. It's scary to imagine how Hodges felt at that moment. The woman must have gone over in her head all the possible reasons for her presence in a hospital bed. Appendicitis, stones, stroke? What she certainly could not guess was that it was in her, by a lucky chance, that a unique object of extraterrestrial origin got into it. A fragment of the meteorite, which weighed 3.86 kilograms, broke through the roof of the Hodges' house and, having flown away from the radio, hit the sleeping beauty's thigh. Fortunately, Anne escaped with only severe bruising, she did not receive serious injuries. The meteorite was named Sulakoski specifically in honor of the city, and it's not so difficult to guess how the alternative name sounds, Hodgeski. Residents of the city also saw the fall of the meteorite. True, they learned later that it was a body of cosmic origin. The sky seemed to be lit up by a bright red light that looked like a candle. The flash seemed to explode again and again. Dot dot. Yes, it is always somehow more pleasant to observe such a phenomenon from the outside. Anne, on the other hand, had a hard time, although she remained alive and well, and even became famous. It would seem, what else is needed for complete happiness? But, as you know, popularity is not always beneficial. After a stunning meeting of a celestial body and a person, everyone who is not lazy wanted to get a meteorite. First, according to the rules, the object was examined by the Air Force, making an official conclusion. It was then that the struggle for the space toy began. Neighbors, acquaintances, the mistress of the house, which was rented by the Ann family, claimed the meteorite fragment. Fortunately, Hodges herself ordered the fate of the meteorite. Together with her husband, they planned to sell a unique item and use the proceeds to repair the damaged roof. But after registering the ownership of the meteorite, Anne's family seemed to have a black streak. The couple were sure that the heavenly stone would be taken away from them with hands and feet for exorbitant sums. However, he was no longer needed. Out of desperation, the woman gave it to the Alabama Museum of History, where the meteorite is kept to this day. Due to constant disputes, the race for buyers and close attention from journalists, the family broke up. Hodges died in 1972 of kidney failure, making history the first person to come face to face with a heavenly body. Interestingly, one of the farmers who lived nearby found another meteorite fragment that day. Only, unlike Anne, luck clearly smiled at the man. He sold the space object and bought new cars and a house. That's all, thank you for your attention. Yes, see you soon.